I'm Tatum Skipper and welcome to Jackson County Today. Jackson County has a lot to offer. Let's take a look. Welcome back. As mentioned, we're here in downtown Graceville, Florida, today at Service Drug here with Stacy Cook. Stacy, um, we stopped in a couple of times. We've taken some photos and videos. You've got a wonderful place here. First of all, thanks for taking the time to speak with us today. You're very welcome. Um, as we've discussed, uh, we've been hired by Jackson County uh, in general, the Board of County Commissioners and the Tourist Development Council, decided that they wanted to put a spotlight on the tourism, uh, but more importantly, the business, the agriculture, all that makes up Jackson County. The interesting thing is that, number one, Jackson County is a very large county. Mm -hmm. When people think Jackson County, typically they think Mariana because it's the county seat. Mm -hmm. And there's certainly a huge amount of attention focused on Mariana, in large part due to the fact that it is the county seat. But as we've traveled around, and we live in Chipley, so we're not that far away, mm -hmm we found things that we didn't realize existed. Mm -hmm. um, some great heritage, some history, um, some gems like downtown Graceful, and right now we find ourselves in Service Drug. Mm -hmm. Talk a little bit about um, how you got involved with Service Drug and, and, uh, and their, its history and, and so forth. Okay, um, first off I'll tell you that we've done a lot of research about our store and um, we have come to the conclusion that we are the oldest continually operating pharmacy and soda fountain in the state of Florida. And we've called several pharmacies uh, throughout the state that seem to hold early registration numbers with the Board of Pharmacy and we have used their dating to decide whether or not our store is in fact the oldest. And the closest that they could get was around 1913. And this pharmacy was established here in 1906. Wow. And I believe that we are one of three soda fountains left in the state of Florida. And we are the only pharmacy that still contains a soda fountain in the state of Florida. Well, obviously 97 years since, mm -hmm. since uh, 1906. Mm -hmm. um, and the soda fountain, the penny candy, all that stuff brings back memories. Mm -hmm. um, you talk about nostalgia, hand-dipped ice cream. Um, you know, we suggested maybe we sit outside in some of the wrought iron furniture, but you say, well, you know, how about right here in front of the soda fountain? Mm -hmm. and Again, I haven't seen this kind of a soda fountain very often since I was a little kid and getting nickel Cokes. Um, Graceville is um, uh, just a, a wealth of, of, of interest. Um, it's got history and heritage. It's got businesses such as your own that have been around. Mm -hmm. uh, Arnold Ford, for instance, been here a long, long time. But if you just drive on 77 and, and you're on your way to Dothan or from Dothan, you miss so much mm -hmm. of what is only a block or two off that beaten track. Um, you're only a block or two removed from 77, mm -hmm. and yet it's another whole world. People out there are doing 45, 50. People coming by here are doing 20, mm -hmm. 25. Uh, we pulled up and there was a gentleman sitting out in, in, your, uh, in your chair set out mm -hmm. there. Uh, one of your staff mentioned that uh, he's one of the locals. He comes and he hangs out, and mm -hmm. that's the kind of town that Graceville is that's and right. that we want to put that spotlight on. Um, how did you um, become the proprietor here? And I was going to say to answer your first question, I needed to follow up with, um, I actually graduated from pharmacy school in 2007. And my first um, day of work at, after I received my license was actually in this pharmacy. And uh, I purchased this store from John Tom Crunchfield. Everybody knows him as Dr. Tom. And uh, at that time, I worked just as a relief pharmacist, but I always remembered this store and, because it's so unique. Uh, whenever I think of service drug store, I think of these ceilings that are the pressed tin ceilings, hardwood floors, and it always, this atmosphere and the people, the memory of it always stayed with me. And um, several years after that, my husband and I thought of this store and how he would like for me to own a pharmacy if, if I ever had the opportunity and uh, we prayed about this opportunity for several years before it actually came to fruition and uh, we approached uh, Dr. Tom as most people know him and we just got to know him and you know he is a truly wonderful man 
he has made this community what it is. The people here are wonderful and they had a love for him. And I have always loved to be around people and I wanted to continue the attitudes and um, the love that's you know expressed through this store. And I told my husband I would never consider owning another type of pharmacy. I didn't want a typical retail chain pharmacy store or just the typical independent store I wouldn't be interested in. But preserving the heritage of this store and um, showing it, the history of the store to the rest of the community and you know even other states one day um, can appreciate this. And uh, so that's how it all came about. We approached him. He decided that after many, many years of being in pharmacy that he wasn't really ready to give up pharmacy as a career or uh, this store, but he thought he better. And um, he obviously had spent a lot of time in prayer about this decision too. And in just a few weeks, he was ready to meet again. And then we came up with the business deal and um, we both agreed on the transaction and that's how it came, came about. And uh, since then, uh, and, and one thing to remember about Mr. Tom, he owned this store, he was the fourth owner, but he worked in this store under the third owner who was uh, Mr. Jack Ashmore. Mr. Tom worked here as a soda jerk for many years before he decided to go to pharmacy school <laughs> and then come back to work for Mr. Ashmore, then he purchased the store from him. And um, so then I became the fifth owner and we loved the way the store, the, you know, the, some of the features that we've already mentioned, you know, we just loved. Another thing, the apothecary cabinetry that you find along the walls, these cabinets here are traditional for an old time drugstore general store feel is almost the way that it was then and there are no pharmacies in this city county or state that possess these cabinets and who still operate using them like we do and that's and to me they're very beautiful and you know it's a piece of history um, so that's just one thing we could think about and uh, he also as you can tell these bottles and these other items that you found around the pharmacy all of these were kept in cabinets and drawers in um, spare spots in the back of the store. Um, the, the public couldn't see them, our patients couldn't see, uh, just a few, handful of them. And uh, so that was one of our goals, to bring it all up here it, to serve almost as a museum for the history of pharmacy. Well, it's and, just that. They're backlit in some cases and mm -hmm. you've got them well displayed. So. Um, it's, you don't have to go that far back when the feed and seed store or the soda fountain or the pharmacy became that clearinghouse, that brokerage for information okay. within the community. Mm -hmm. It's where people had to go almost daily. Um, so it got to be that place where you stopped by, found out the local gossip, maybe picked up uh, an ice cream cone and, and had that opportunity to interact with your neighbors. And we still do all of the above on a daily basis. <laughs> so um, only six or seven years that you've been a pharmacist. Mm -hmm. Seven, this will make the seventh year. Where did you go to school? At Florida A&M University in Tallahassee. Of course, um, I grew up in a small town in Jackson County, Cottondale, Florida, and uh, graduated from Cottondale High School, then proceeded to Chipola College, and uh, it was Chipola Junior College at that time, and uh, obtained associate's degree from there, and then transferred to Florida A&M to finish out in my degree, and it's actually considered a doctorate in pharmacy these days. So uh, that's where, and so, you know, small towns are what I know. Um, I love small towns. I actually live in Chipley now, uh, but Jackson County will always, you know, hold a special place in our hearts.